Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I am going to teach you about how to mosaic Glancet images. So let's start with the arc map. I have already kept these two of my images for you guys to show. So these are my two images. I can just close it and show to you. I have already removed the black background black color and the images are ready to be mosaic. So I have taken the MTL file because, because it has all the bands. We can see in the properties going to the key metadata. It has all the bands in it. And there are in total eight bands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So all these bands are contained together in this MTL file. So we are going to use them. So what we are going to do is we'll go to the arc toolbox, click on that, go to the data management tools, data management tools. Then further in that, we are going to select raster. In raster, we are going to select raster data set. And down in that first, we are going to create a raster data set. So if we're creating raster data set, double click on this. You have to give the location of your file where you want it to be there. So here is my location. Add. Then we have to give a name to the raster data set with the extension. So I want it to be a raster file and therefore my extension will be a TIFF file. So let's name it test1.tif. Cell size is optional if you want to can put. You can go to the properties to check the pixel type for the next one. Usually the other Landsat has a pixel type of 8, but the Landsat 8 has pixel type. Let's see, what is it? It's a 16-bit unsigned integer. We can check the pixel type and depth together. So we can give it a 16-bit unsigned. You can give the spatial reference for the raster, but few of my data has different spatial ref reference, so I won't go for it. Number of bands, again, you can check going to the properties. As I mentioned before, there are eight bands. So I'll make it eight. If you give the number of bands wrong, there, then in the next step, when you go for the mosaic, you will be getting a wrong output data and that won't be working. So here is the time till that you're creating the raster data set. Here's the raster data set meet, create raster data set. So my next step is to do mosaic. And in the mosaic data set, I'm going to select both the files and go to my target that is test one, add. Mosaic operator would be maximum. Since I want the maximum to be done, ignore background values is for outer values and no data values I mentioned before and then I'll go and click on mosaic but now I'm not going to do that since I've already done and this will take a long time so I'll cancel this and I'll show you the one which I have already done so that is in test file so I'll bring the test file drop it here to show you the result I close rest of all the files and here is the test file which I've got after the mosaic is done. We can see the mosaic is really done well. There is no difference in the edge. It's really good quality mosaic. Go to the properties and check whether all the eight bands are there. And yes, the eight bands are there. It's also a 16 bit with no data value and unsigned integer. And here we are done. We can see the whole image. 